Well, hello everyone, welcome back. <clears throat> I think it's time I had a little talk, just a little talk, just a little bit one. Now, as we all know, there's this thing going around called the coronavirus. Itchy nose. <clears throat> we have, we're going through a pandemic known as the coronavirus, COVID-19. And you'll see me on this channel a lot, and even still making the jokes about it and all this and that. But yes, please take care of yourself, please. Um, I would recommend staying indoors until this is all over with, yes. But you're going to say, but like it, why you keep making jokes about it if it's actually a serious thing? Because you can make jokes about serious things. It's always fun to find the humor in things that are becoming problems in our everyday life. Like, there's nothing really bad about staying in the house during this, just to try and stay healthy. <clears throat> Please listen to the doctors and the scientists that are talking about COVID-19. Don't listen to the people who are saying, Oh my god, it's going to kill 2 billion people. It's, that's more people than the population of China and part of and pretty much all of our country. But it's going to kill 2,000 people, damn it. No, don't listen to those people. Those are the people that are wearing the, the tinfoil hats. You know, they're the people that uh, think that... They, they think that Walt Disney is buried in, in some frozen vault under, under the, the theme park. Don't listen to those people, no. Just don't listen to them. Listen to the doctors who are telling you that this will resolve itself through you, social distancing, quarantining. Just try and stop it in its tracks while they're working to prepare a vaccine for it. That this is not going to be the apocalypse, no. This is not going to turn into some, into some walking dead scenario where it's, where it's fight or die, no. <clears throat> This is just one of those 100-year things. This is like, we're going through what, what people went through in 1918 with the Spanish flu, and I'm sure they were just as scared as you and I, as as we all are. I mean, I may not be afraid of it. I'm not scared of, of this virus because I know it'll pass over time. But I also know know that I need to do what I can to not get other people sick. But then you're saying, well, why are you on Twitter posting pictures of you walking outside if you want to be inside the house? Because it's okay to be outside when you're being safe about it. You can't stay inside the house all the time. You'll go you'll, you'll, you'll lose your goddamn mind. You'd burn your own house down. You'd go you'd you'd be maniacal. They'd make lifetime mo movies about you and how you went crazy during quarantine. <laughs> it's okay to leave the house now and then to go get stuff for the house, food, house supplies, cleaning supplies, whatever. It's okay to go outside, take a walk around the neighborhood. My neighborhood's usually quiet anyway when these two bimbos over there aren't knocking each other's brains out with metal pipes. <clears throat> and when this guy isn't taking a shotgun out and this woman's taking a purse gun out and they're aiming at each other. When they're not doing that, it's actually very very quiet where I live. And now that this virus is happening, all these big burly men here in West Virginia are now uh, pulling up their skirts and going, eee! So it's about the it's about the neighborhoods are kind of like a ghost town, except for the cars that are going by from to stores and to homes and stuff. But the streets and the sidewalks are mainly quiet, so I can actually go out, take a nice relaxing walk, if I wish to. I'd be out there today walking, but it's raining. Mother Nature, you're a goddamn bitch, and I'm gonna I'm gonna get you, Mother Nature. I'm gonna get you. <clears throat> but um, just take it easy. Relax. Do what I do. Stay at home. Eat food. Burgers, pizza. Watch some, watch some Harry Potter. You can't go wrong with Harry Potter. you got eight movies to watch. That's a lot. And they're, they're usually two, three hours long. So you got a lot of time to pass with eight movies. And when you're done with that, they'll watch the, they'll watch the other one. The Fantastic Beast. Watch that one. It's a good movie, too. Just stay at home. Watch TV. Go outside when you have to. And... <clears throat> Or if you want to, if you want to take it to the extreme, you can hop on a boat, go over the water, and hit to a deserted island out in the Caribbean, where there's not, where there's really to be no human interaction to be found. It's just you, the water, the headhunters over there in the, in the woods. Yeah, they're over there. <clears throat> but you're already doing social distancing, so just don't go to the headhunters, and they won't kill you quicker than the, quicker than the coronavirus could. I think I should have gone to a non-inhabited island, now that I think of it.
and always remember, be sure to wash your hands, use hand sanitizer, and don't cough into your mouth. Cough into your elbow like this. And if you have one, wear a mask. I can't wear them personally. I wear them for when I'm making jokes, yes, but I can't wear them when I'm walking outside because I have horrible eyesight, so I'm, I'm forced to wear eyeglasses because I can't stand contacts. And when you wear these things with a hospital mask, it's a fog bank up here, and you can't see where you're going, so that's a horrible thing. And because I'm, I'm, I'm very overweight, over 300 pounds, I breathe a lot, very heavy. So that really impairs my glasses when it's a fog bank and I can't see. It looks like I'm walking in Scotland. Can't see a thing where I'm going. So when I'm wearing mine for my videos, yes, that's why I'm doing that because I'm in my house. I know my house layout, so I don't have to worry about that. <clears throat> so I I don't wear a mask. But the only time I'm ever outside coughing or sneezing is because I have allergies. I have very bad hay fever. So I have to take an allergy pill, so I walk outside to make sure I don't cough or sneeze or hack. Because I could be waiting in the line of the store to, to buy something, and I'm like this when I got a cough up. And then when I'm, I get outside, <laughs> <laughs> so just do that. Be, take care of yourself. Wash your hands for at least two minutes, and you can help stop the spread of COVID-19. And also check out uh, trust, trustworthy websites and don't spread misinformation. Thank you.